last of the third annual Canadian Sasquatch Mead Challenge. And uh, we're back with a review. And I saved the winner of last year's Mead Challenge for last. That's Grant Baker out of New Zealand. That's right. So there you've got the label. It's Baker Boys Boysenberry Mead. Now, another reason to save it for last, I grew up on boysenberries. My grandparents grew boysenberries. I love boysenberries. So hopefully this will be a real treat. All right, let's see what Grant has to say about this. It's uh, in primary. He had two kilograms of Ruarua. I can't pronounce that. Ruarua. Yeah, Ruarua. Honey. No idea what that is, Grant. Uh, and then 750 grams of boysenberries. All right, one cinnamon stick. Five sprigs of saffron. Wow, this is intricate. A half teaspoon of gopher. Okay, I know what that is. And a half teaspoon of fermade. Now I use both gopher and fermade with my meats. It's, it's uh, your your go your fermade is kind of like dap, but with some uh, yeast nutrients. And gopher just really stimulates uh, the fermentation. Really gets it going. And then there's KV-1116A yeast, and the original gravity was 1.113. Uh, and then in secondary, he added another 750 uh, grams of boysenberries. And uh, final gravity was 1.011, aged in a keg for nine months before bottling. ABV, 13%. Wow, sounds like a winner. Now, two kilograms of honey, that's 4.4 4, uh, pounds of honey. But of course, I have no idea, um, I have no idea in terms of uh, what, what the total volume was of this. All right, it really does have these really dark purple hues, just beautiful, makes me think of when I made my blueberry mead, that's that's nice, but it has more red hues to it, which is great on the outside. Let's get the nose. Oh, wow, that's that's nice. I'll have to look up this honey here in a bit, maybe while it warms. I don't know what I'm supposed to pull off that, but I sure get the boys and berries. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm perceiving the cinnamon or not, and I really don't know what the saffron would do, but here we go. Wow. Okay, so this is a little bit drier mead, uh, which is cool, and it, so it does remind me, as I said before, a little bit more of when I made my blueberry. And it's gonna be a little bit lighter mead. 4.4 uh, pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, I use, I use three pounds per gallon myself, so it's, it's hard to judge. I don't know what size batch you made, but this would be a little bit probably on the lighter side because the amount of boysenberry he used would be, uh, 750 and 750, that's 1.5, so roughly about three pounds of, of boysenberries. So that's a high percentage of fruit honey. So as a result, what's kind of fun about this is when you have a higher ratio of, of fruit to honey, it's going to present a little bit closer towards being um, almost like a wine, which is really intriguing. I enjoy this. You can tell that there's less honey sweetness. You can tell that there's... Um, a higher fruit just from the taste just as I described before and you can also tell that there's some influences from the the spices the saffron and the cinnamon stick the cinnamon stick doesn't really jump right out I, I can I can get the underpinnings of it uh, there's a little bit of a, a, a earthy grounded spice quality to it but it's not jumping out specifically like cinnamon the saffron again uh, I can't really tell you what, what that does. I might have to check on that in between, maybe check with my wife. And, but what it does is it probably 
tones down the brightness a little bit would be my my thought and maybe give it a little bit of a you know a light just a light of spice to it uh, for more of like a holiday beverage I'm getting the slightest bit of kind of an interesting taste or bite uh, I have no way of detecting though if that has to do with these spices or something slightly off in the the brewing of it uh, uh, it, it has just the edge of a quality of uh, like a mulled wine by having the spice in that. Well, this is fun. This is really different, and I love challenging my palate. I'm going to take a little time with this. We'll let this warm up, and I'll be back. All right, I've let this warm. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I, I really am. I do not believe Grant back sweetened this at all. Uh, I did back sweeten mine because it, it attenuated way down. And I'm going to change some of my, my mead making style after having tried some of these meads in the competition. So the competition has been wonderful. I want to thank Steve uh, so much. The Canadian Sasquatch, thank you, sir. You are, are the master mead maker, and um, you've, you've just encouraged me all along the way. I want to thank you so much for that. And it's been fun watching people like Grant. Baker making meads, watching Larry Lentz making meads, and of course S.J. Poor making his <laughs> these blow you out of the water Viking meads, and um, I've gotten a real kick out of that and really enjoyed that over these last few years, and a few of the guys in the UK. Um, this is fun because uh, I, I do enjoy wines. Um, the only the down point for me is. Uh, semi-dry, this is dry to semi-dry, and the down point for me is probably the spices, I hate to say. Um, I, I'm not much for mold wines in my, my overall taste and preferences. Um, I probably would have liked it uh, more so without that, but I assume those are used to make it more holiday-like. So in that side of it, then I appreciate it. So it's going to make my, my scoring a little more complicated for me. I did go in and we have some saffron from Spain in the cupboard and I smelled it and took a tiny little twig and chewed on it and I'll be honest, it doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, I know it's called for recipes, but I don't know what it does still. <laughs> but this is, this is fun. This is truly fun. I would love to do this with, uh, with just maybe without the spices or or half of them cut back. Nonetheless, though, it reminds me of so many of these holiday beverages that over, well, I'm 56, folks, going on 57 soon, and I've had an opportunity to try a lot of holiday beverages over the years, and it reminds me so much of that, and I so appreciate berries. So, um, I wish we had a lot of more boysenberries here, Grant. They, you know, we have the wall blackberries, but they're all moving to Marion berries here. That's a sad thing. Uh, boysenberry ice cream, that's what I grew up with. <sighs> Picked them fresh from the grandparents' backyard, made fresh ice cream, and threw the boysenberries in. Oh, This is beautiful. I'm going to sit here with all these holiday decorations around me and enjoy this for a while. Thank you for making this grant. This is one beautiful and fun mead. Uh, enjoy. Have a wonderful, warm Christmas holiday. We'll catch you all later. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.